Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more of the Perizno mod. I have changed my looks a little bit, uh, just because I was... Just wanted to fresh things up, I guess. I don't know, I was tired of that old armor. Um, even though this one I think is technically worse. But also got access to this white wolf because I was able to level up our riding skills, so that is pretty cool. I still have my crossbow, but it's just in my inventory because I want to use more of the lancing stuff. And also got a new group of mercenaries. The adventure mercenaries, there are a lot of them, apparently. Besides that, also changed up these veteran warriors. Uh, changed the looks up a little bit. They are still sword wielding and throwing. But I also put them in a separate group from the foot knights. So the foot knights are now in their own group so they can be their little spear selves. And then I think that's basically it. I think for the most part. I set up a couple couple patrols around here and here and now we are going to go on the offensive with our mercenaries probably just gonna go straight for Uliastai or we can try and now let's go for Uliastai we have the numbers Also, I've been going around every single castle on, on my way and recruiting more nobles so we can continually get more great knights because they are great. Alright, I'm going to put this back in here because we're about to siege up. 1,300 people. But we almost have a 1,000 ourselves, so... It's not bad. See how well these adventure mercenaries are. I've not even seen them in the fight. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, this is this is up close and personal. Oh, I don't like this. Oh god, I don't like this at all. Alright, Sharp Shooters are on the job. Jeez. This deployment zone is so close. Alright, so apparently they have some spear infantry. These Prisno adventurers. Actually, let's keep you back. Let's keep you back. Ah, you filth. Mm. There it is. Hmm. Excuse me, friends. Oh, and these adventurers are calf. Interesting. They have a lot of those in their army. We're gonna have to let our archers do a lot of work here. This would actually be a lot better if this was a siege tower place, so we can have a wider area to attack from. Let me just take a look. Oh, 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 oh. yep, 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 yep. Master Dwarves, man. Let's rally. Ah! I see you. Oh. Was that a, a, a desert assassin? Damn it! Uh, hmm. No. 
How many did we kill? Okay. Lost three morale, gained 36. I'd say that's pretty good. Let's try this cluster again. It is raining, but I mean, we're pretty close, so I don't think that matters too much. Great way to level up a crossbow. Tanky Desert Assassin over here. Trying to go for headshot. That was too high. Let's rally. Let's take a look up here, see what's going on. Now, throwing weapons, even though they're on the defensive, should only have a limited amount of ammo. I believe it's only crossbows and arrows that have infinite. While in a siege. I believe. Yeah, because you stop throwing. But there are always more of you. Let's see what's going on up here. Hi, friends! I'm Tokshin Rock Hammer, you may have heard of me. How's it going? Hi. In the face! Resilient person. <laughs> to be able to wear a crossbow bolt to the face and continue to live is quite the feat. Very impressive. Are you ready to earn your pay? Let's see how you do. I will frighten them and then you go in. Alright, friends. Oh, 
I'm out of my shield. No! Well, we didn't really get enough space up there. Well, we have some foot soldiers there doing some work. Or, I mean, uh, veteran warriors. They look pretty cool with that knight armor. And they still have a really awesome blade, so... They should be some of the best soldiers up there. And then here comes the problem. Now we've been pushed back to the ladder, so it's like 10 on 2. Seven allies lost twenty one, killed one sixty three. Still gained more morale than we lost, so we will go at it again. I don't know, that may be my patrol, or that may just be that random army that was there a couple episodes ago. All right, sharpshooters, do your thing. There it is. Now when the enemy runs out of all of their ranged units, that's when it's a bad day for them. Because then we are just free to continually... Um, like, redo our sieges and just get free kills. Eventually they will run out of archers. And these damn assassins. Ooh, you see that headshot? Murder them, please. Oh! Ooh. Yeah, I felt that. I love the constant screaming in these. I imagine non-stop installs being thrown back and forth. Ooh, headshot. Great, man. They peek their head over the wall, and I just see like 20 arrows shoot them in the face. Alright. Let's take another look, although I am almost dead. Big note.
This is dangerous. This is dangerous. Hi. Alright, so these guys were the ones before the Desert Assassins. So I think we are finally getting through their elite troops. So now we're onto like the mid tier. In the face. One man army up here. I'm not a one-man army anymore. Yeah, this probably isn't going to go well. But let's see what happens. Like, if we could just get in there, then we could just have one fight and we'd probably win, but the problem is getting on the wall to the point where you're not pushed back to the laurels. <laughs> God. Siege battles. Do it again. In the rain, in the dark. Still, we are so close, it does not matter. I need to wait for more of their archers to be cleared. I want to charge when they're at their lowest. I think it's going to be about now. Let's go. Before their reinforcements come in and, and get this position filled back up, I think we need to go now. See what kind of pro uh, progress we can make. Taunt them? Or not taunt them, but intimidate them? Give us a fighting chance. Alright. We're on the wall though. Like this is this is the best time to attack. See, like now the reinforcements are coming up and around, but we're on the wall. We just need to keep pushing. Just get on the wall. It's still okay, like, we still can win from this. As long as we have a foothold on the wall, which we do right now, then we can do it. And the archers are killing their reinforcements as they're coming up these stairs right here. Oh man, this may be it. I may not be alive for it, but this may be it. Okay, so we're going to do this. Have them stand closer. We want more eyes on this section.
And then when our forces get far into the wall, we'll actually get our archers to charge too. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's a really weird angle. Oh well. They are firing, I guess. What is the hold up here? Like, why are we not pressing forward through here? Oh, they're still killing people on this side? Towards. We should be rushing down the wall that way. Still have a foothold, even though they have pushed the ladder. And it looks like they're dying quicker than we are. Okay, so our troops just are. I think this is it. I think this is it. Yep, and now we're pushing it back. Yes! It sucks about a life for this, but yes! And then when we get further down the wall, then I'll send in the archers. Wait. Push him back. Oh, come on, no. Down the, the wall. Hurry. Where are they going? Oh. I need to send them up. They just need more bodies up here. Especially ones with spears. Alright, well, let's see how much these two can... Mm. Well. Foot knights. I probably should change their equipment before siege. go. Archers are charging down further than our infantry did. Oh 
Look at that, we're charging down the back stair. Well, this is interesting. Are the sharpshooters better in melee than our foot knights? Like, it seems like they always do really well. Even though I think they have the same weapon. And they should technically probably have a lower proficiency than the foot knights, right? Maybe they don't. Oh. What happened to their warrior just got kicked off the wall? I'm not seeing any more of their like top tier soldiers because those are all dressed in like a dark black. So we're finally whittling them down to their lower tier. Which is probably why we're getting a lot more deaths here. Or well kills. Uh, uh oh. We've lost 600 so far. We've lost 50. To, um, we are drawing to the end of our reserves. We killed a lot, but we didn't have as many going in as the enemy did. I believe we have a bunch of low tier troops. We can do this. Thinking about pulling out because they still have at least a few hundred. We don't have that much. I think we need to west rest our wounded up here. But I also I just want to see if they can just do it. Oh, those... No, 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 no. We're, we're done. We're done. These are all javelin throwers. They're going to massacre our troops as they come down that staircase. Okay, so we lost 65. 20 sharpshooters, 17 foot knights, some veteran warriors. How much did our mercs lose? 84. Killed 700. We need to rest up. They only have 343 left. Which we can take on if we can get our wounded back up. No. In fact, you know what? We'll just run back to Karnoth, and then by the time we head back to that city, we should be fine. So I don't have to wait for these guys. I'm just going to tell them to patrol here. Or actually guard. Guard. What is this castle called? This one. That way they'll just sit there. All right. Okay, so we still got patrols heading over here. Right, I could call a campaign, I guess. Like, at this point, I don't really need a campaign to take that city. But I probably should have called a campaign. You will 
recruit nobles. Let's check and see if anybody defected. That is a no. Let's also go to the marketplace. How is our food? Food is fine. Manage this town. Ah, one day. Okay. Garrison. We have room for, what, like 80? Ish. We can take these shadow warriors, javelin throwers. They're pretty tough. Let's see how they do. Yeah. And then let's talk to the foot knights. And we want to give you a two handed. Mace? So they can just crush through blocks up there? Like this large dark morning star. And that's piercing damage, so it shouldn't knock them out because it's not blunt damage. It's also really high damage in general. Okay, cool. Tell me about yourself. What's your proficiencies here? Pull arms, 400. 400, 400, okay. And then the sharpshooters. Pull arms, 280. Yeah, it's weird. It just, it seems like they do better. But proficiency-wise, I don't think they should be. <clears throat> All right. I am not going to worry myself with you. We have a lot of patrols. You have lords going around here. All right, so we're going to pick up our... Wait, what? Our soldiers patrolling Karnoth have been defeated? That sucks. So you're still alive. Did you go into another battle? Is not the time. Although that is a siege tower place, so we have time. Okay, so we are healed up. They're almost there. But they already had half strength, man, because they started it with like over 400 people. So who is over here? We have, I think, around four or five hundred soldiers here, so I wouldn't. I, I'm fine with them attacking, and then we'll break them in the siege. That's okay. You do what you want to do. Although I do not want them getting reinforcements here. Although they just got a lot of people. Let's go kill you. Oh, they don't have spears anymore. Damn it.
Come on, sharpshooters. Let the infantry go first. They always have so many of these guys. Let's, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta fall back. We gotta get our lines back together. Sharpshooters kill those assassins. These Harans have such an annoying army. Six of her foot knights. Well, at least we killed that army. But now they have all these armies garrisoning in the city, so now their numbers are back up to like almost a thousand. Where's my mercenaries at? Oh, I never told him to follow me. Whoops. Alright, well, let's handle this, I guess, in the next episode, everybody. So thank you for watching. We'll deal with that and then lay another siege to the city. And we probably should have it at that point. Take care, everybody.